What we're looking at here now is a portrait of a woman named uh, Madalena Doni. Um, it's a painting that was uh, um, painted by uh, Raphael during the time of the Renaissance. Um, now, this is the, uh, the iconic um, Mona Lisa, of course. Um, I want to look at some similarities between the two paintings. Um, to start out, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, both of them into uh, black and white here. Um, there's uh, that in black and white. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the Mona Lisa into black and white. Here we go. So, um, I start out by looking at uh, Madalena. And um, what I've done now is uh, overlaid the two on top of one another, um, as we can see. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is start by kind of erasing away at uh, Raphael's Madalena. Um, and see what happens. Um, I'm going to start with the nose. Now, what's immediately apparent is there are very, very different, uh, very, very little differences in the facial structure. Um, there's the nose after and before. I mean, they're virtually similar. Um, and I'm just erasing here. I mean, it's just absolutely astonishing how similar they are. Um, now, if we go ahead and erase the eyes again, um, this is completely uh, passable. I mean, we could superimpose. This is effectively superimposing Mona Lisa's eyes on um, Madalena's eyes, um, and it just works. It's it's absolutely incredible. Um, so we have the eyes now. We have the nose as before. Um, if we look at the uh, jawbone, um, it matches up uh, pretty much um, really exactly as we can see. Um, we're just following the face. It all matches up absolutely brilliantly. Um, of course, the biggest difference between the two, um, well, not of course, but one of the biggest differences anyway, is uh, in the mouth and in the lips. Um, if we go ahead and take away uh, Madalena's mouth, we, of course, get the Mona Lisa smile. Um, this is perhaps uh, one of the biggest differences in the face, anyway, um, between Madalena and Mona. Um, just continue erasing here. I mean, the similarities, again, just are absolutely astonishing. Um, we can also go ahead and take a look at the breast. Uh, it, it matches up pretty pretty darn well, um, uh, except for maybe some differences in the clothing. Um, something interesting is the bust line is pretty much at the same point, uh, or, or rather where the, uh, the clothing um, uh, starts covering the breast. I mean, exactly like same same area just about uh, just like follow that right, out, right across um, that's pretty incredible to me uh, let's see just falls right across and then we have the similarity in the hands um, they're in a very very similar position they don't match up to it perfectly well um, but uh, they do match up um, in terms of, of the structure and how they look so I'm just going to so we'll see, you know, we see um, uh, Mona's, uh, or, or rather Madalena's um, right hand covering her left. And uh, in the Mona, again, we see the same kind of situation. Uh, the right, her right hand covering um, her left, as it were. Um, in a very, very uh, kind of similar fashion. Um, it's probably uh, one of the greatest differences between the two overall. Um, anyway, that's about it for now. Um, there are clearly, uh, a lot of similarities between these two paintings, which are, are really striking, and, uh, it suggests, perhaps, that, uh, Michelangelo stole his idea from Raphael, or, or the other way around, perhaps, uh, hard to say, but, um, this is good evidence that, um, in effect, uh, the uh, Mona Lisa may have uh, come from uh, this portrait of Madalena by Raphael. That's it.